I'm Mary Johnson. I live in Nashua, New Hampshire. I'm a writer and I'm openly secular. It's been a long journey for me to become secular. When I was 19, I joined a convent. I was a nun for 20 years with Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Uh, when I left the congregation, I left basically because I felt suffocated. I still believed in God at the time. I think, uh, you know, it took a lot of perspective getting away from those things for me to be able to really examine things more deeply. I started reading, I started thinking more, talking more, and realizing that the life I'd been leaving had been based really on a, on a story that was very reassuring but not very real. <laughs> so uh, I became secular just by coming to my senses, I think, by becoming aware, by determination that I'd always had to live in reality, to live in truth, and then just seeing that I hadn't been there yet. And now I really enjoy just living living this life and not worrying about another one or some God watching me somewhere. It's just really good. and. You know, openly secular, I like the idea because when I was a nun, of course, I always wore my habit. I had the white sari with the blue border. People knew who I was when they saw me from a mile away. When you're secular, you don't have that sort of privilege that just people know who you are by sight. So you have to tell them, and this is an opportunity to tell them. I think it's important for each one of us to be able to say, this is who I am, this is who I think, this is what I think, and this is why I think it. And, you know, if we don't have the freedom to say that openly, if we don't give ourselves the right, if we don't claim that right for ourselves, then we're living a lie, basically, because we're just kind of hiding and we aren't able to, to be who we are in the world. I think it's, it's a human necessity 